First we have dividers, then I have a wide rolled one subject notebook with three pockets. Next I have my pencil pouch. Yeah, that's basically the end of this video. I hope you guys- Hello everyone! Welcome to my first Plan With Me on YouTube. This month I'm going to be, um, I'm surprised after coloring on this crescent with so I'm just showing you the preview. Here's the final. I decided to recreate Amanda's again this month um, because I think the autumnal and fall vibe that it gives off is really, um, you know, pleasing and aesthetic. But in my recreation, I instead of doing coffee, I actually recreate it with... Here is the final preview. future videos. See you next time. My channel. Today is my last plan with me of the year. Welcome to my December plan with me. This month, I'm actually going to be creating an original um, theme. I, I decided to go with a watercolor, kind of forest kind of theme. It didn't turn out as um, good as I thought it would turn out, but it is still practical. This is the first time I'm using one of these flap. Um, I did do, um, I did record this um, a long time ago actually. Um, and I did record it before Amanda racially did release her plan with me. And I really liked hers after I saw the video and I'm just like, no going back now, so yeah. Here I'm making a um, ton of blue. Um, I literally just did it in like a snap, so. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was like a fun. Hello everyone, welcome back to your video on my channel. Today is the prepping video for Doodlemas. It is a concept that I made up of ending and thinking of these ideas. And I didn't show them um, quite clearly because I wanted it to be a surprise. everybody welcome back to your video on my channel today is a day one of my doodle advent calendar for christmas and i'm now drawing my
topic for today and today's topic is a gingerbread house which is interesting as you can hear from the background music i decided to make a um classic cubed gingerbread house i'm using that cube kind of slanted line design to kind of make an illusion that is 3d i added a little cute star on top of the door and i made the windows huge and i decided to color them in because somehow they were trying to block the amazingness of the rest of the drawing now I'm going to write out my quote. I love this quote. It is an original quote. I'm not sure if anybody else has done this quote, but it is, the best architect is one who builds gingerbread houses. And I love that because it really ties into the gingerbread house topic. Um, and it's really aesthetic and I love the sarcasm in it. Um, Cause I mean, architects, gingerbread houses gingerbread houses are really hard to make if you've ever tried to make one but this is my final result i do see the roof and the sides of the house kind of messed up a bit but i think that's fine i hope you guys liked my first episode of the everybody welcome back to a video on my channel today is day two of my doodle advent calendar yesterday's topic i drew um a gingerbread house and that turned out very nice so i highly recommend you go see it if you like this video i'm not going to raffle today's topic in which i will draw and today's topic is christmas tree and I'm really happy with this topic and craft foams and punch holes into them to make ornaments and I think this is an amazing idea it kind of just popped into my head and I thought oh my god that would be so cool so now I'm sticking them on randomly to my Christmas tree they didn't turn out as well as I thought but they're decent I am now writing out my quote. It is, if you haven't noticed, Christmas trees aren't made by nature, they are made by love. And I think that's so true because evergreen trees are part of nature, but we make them pretty and we make them festive. And so that's why I chose this quote. Here is the final result. day three of my doodle advent calendar and i'm now going to raffle today's topic and today's topic is a snowman now we're going to put away the gold bucket and take out my sketchbook i decided to go with a three bald snowman um with stick arms and a classic black top hat which also has a carrot and a scarf Today's quote is, getting my snowman building exercise. Snowman building is a very fun, but also a bit hard work. Today's video will be a bit short, so I hope you're not too disappointed. But I also got my Posca paint pen recently, so I'm going to use that in this video. Here is the final result. Hope you guys enjoyed this short doodle miss video i hope to see you tomorrow for day four this was a friend request so i decided to upload it as soon as i could remember this is just the way that i write it it's not just the way that the american cursive alphabet is written it's my way of the alphabet I'm going to stop my voiceover now and we're just going to have some calming music playing and it's just going to be a nice aesthetic video. So I
2019 one and this is basically the last time my youtube viewers will see my bullet journal so suck it in so i have the key first and the word of the year for 2019 um i'm definitely not going to be doing a word of the um i also have another blank monthly recap and another farewell page Here's February. February was a very exotic and um, a doodle-filled month. You can see the cover page is very, very uh, eye-catching, you could say. Here is the monthly spread. Very simple. Here is my weekly spread. I didn't... Um, add in my habit trackers until later in the year because I hadn't discovered them yet. Here is another farewell page. And I loved March because it was so luscious and I loved the shades of green on the theme. Here's May. Um, for May, I only did the cover page and monthly spread. You can see there's no weekly spreads or trackers. That was kind of just a visual for me. It wasn't really um, purposeful. This is June. Also another recreation from Amanda. This month was very colorful and very useful. You can see my week was very packed um, because I was on break. Here are some of my favorite weekly spreads as well. They're so um, doodly as well. Um, these months were really good. Here's August. This is also another original spread. It was with avocados, watermelon. Hopefully, um, you're still not tired because we still have another 10 minutes of this video to watch. So stay tuned. I'm now going to set up my 2020 migration for my bullet journal. This is so exciting. I was super scared when um, setting up my bullet journal, but I think it turned out pretty well. I'm going to list all the spreads I want to add, the spreads I want to keep from... And yes, it did turn out, it did stick, it did smear a little bit, but I did, um, I was able to fix that. So here's the final result. I hope you guys take risks like that as well, because it might... All right, so next I'm going to be putting that in my index. The next page is my goodbye 2019, hello 2020, and it's going to be my reflections and resolutions page, or spread, I should say. I'm going to be um, labeling the page with January to through December. And I'm going to be writing down all the reflections and memories I had in this past year. I'm also going to be categorizing. Again, I, I thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my January 2020 bullet journal setup. Bye.